Hey, Shalom Israel, Most High in Christ blessed. So we're at it with another episode of 15 Minutes with the Captains. So we're going to start with the scripture of 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 1. What are we going over today? We're going over how to prove a spouse. A lot of you brothers out there, you're looking for a wife. A lot of you brothers are single. A lot of you sisters, especially you sisters, because there are a lot of single sisters out there. You're looking for a husband. So you email us and you contact us on what are the steps to prove a spouse? If I find somebody in IUIC, how do I approve them? What do I do? So first, let's go to First Timothy chapter five, verse one. Read this. First Timothy chapter five, verse one. Uh huh. Rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. And the younger men as brethren. Read. The elder woman as mothers, the younger as sisters, with all purity. So the scripture says, rebuke not an elder, but entreat him as a father. That's the first step there. You should be looking at the leadership as your father figures. Who's the leadership? The bishop and deacons. These are the men that are going to set you up up with what a spouse they're going to set you up with a husband but guess what they want to know they want to know your reputation and what the bishops and deacons will do they will contact captains over certain schools saying hey give us the reputation of this person here because this sister here and this brother here we think they'll be a good fit what do you think so the first thing is looking at the leadership as father figures and notice it says this verse two the elder woman as mothers you sisters that are in the process of talking to a brother proven you should be speaking to a senior sister with experience that's been married understand read it again verse two verse two the elder woman as mothers because i've been to congregations and guess what you have sisters when you ask them hey sis who are you talking to what sister do you speak to that gives you advice on marriage uh nobody nobody oh i didn't know i had to speak to anybody this is the problem right there that's where you're gonna find the first problem right there you're not even speaking to leadership you're doing it quiet and in the secret that's not the right step on how to prove a spouse read verse one again verse one rebuke not an elder right but entreat him as a father you entreat the leadership as a father figure why because you trust your father figure you honor your father figure you keep them involved read and the younger men as brethren. Come on. The elder woman as mothers. Uh huh. The younger as sisters. Now go to Judges chapter 14, verse 1. Now remember what Samson did. Samson, when he was ready to get married, he went to his parents to ha help him find a wife. He told his parents, Find me a wife. Through, these are the steps we have in IUIC. We tell you when it's your time. You counsel with leadership and they will help you find your spouse. Read this. Judges 14 and 1. Judges chapter 14 verse 1. And Samson went down to Timnah. Come on. To Timnath and saw a woman in Timnath uh -huh. of the daughters of the Philistines. Uh -huh. And he came up and told his father and his mother and said, I have seen a woman in Timnath of the daughters of the Philistines. Now, therefore, get her for me to wife. Read it again. Now, therefore, get her for me to wife. Right. So Samson understood you were supposed to go through your parents for a spouse. Now, in IUIC, we don't force you to do anything. That's your choice. But guess what you should be doing? You should go to the leadership. Who do you think is right for me? What do you think? You counsel. Why? Because guess what? We're going to we're going to give you the scriptures. Leadership is going to give you the scriptures on what your spouse, who it should be. You understand? Go now to uh, Sirach 6 and verse 7. Sirach chapter 6 and verse 7. You brothers and sisters out there that don't keep leadership involved. That's where the problems arise. You don't want them to know who you're talking to. You don't want them to know how it's going. Why? Because when you do that, there's going to be evil involved. It's going to be evil involved. You got to remember, we're building a nation. We're rebuilding a nation. We're trying to fix black and Hispanic families. That's exactly what we're doing off the Bible. 
But don't let the white man tell you, oh, they're a hate group. No, we're not. You can see our pictures. We have families. We don't teach hate. We teach God's laws. We teach God's laws, and that's what keeps the family together. So don't follow the white man that say, oh, the we, we are the black Hebrew Israelites. No, we're not. We're the Israelites. That's who we are. Black, who, black Hebrew Israelites? I don't know about that term. But what we do here at IUIC, we're all about doing marriage the right way. We're all about keeping the commandments and teaching your children the right way and choosing a spouse the right way. The steps in marriage. All right. Read um, Sirach six and seven. Sirach chapter six, verse seven. Come on. If thou wouldest get a friend, uh-huh. prove him first. We always read this scripture. The Bible says, if you wouldest get a friend, prove him first. Prove him first. Sister, if you were to get a friend, you prove him first. Brother, if you were to get a friend, you prove her first. Why? Because before you enter into marriage, it's a friendship first. It's a friendship first. And the Bible says, prove him. Read on. And be not hasty to credit him. Uh huh. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. Uh-huh. The Bible says for some man is a friend for his own occasion. Don't think every brother in IUIC is right. Don't think because a brother walked through the doors, he's right. No, the Bible says, prove him. You don't prove him by looking at his shoe size. So we're going to go to Sirach chapter six, verse seven again. Read that. Sirach chapter six, verse seven. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first uh-huh. and be not hasty to credit him. Uh-huh. See, that's the problem. A lot of you sisters are hasty to credit brothers. Why? Because you thinking about sex first. That's all that's on your mind. Some of you brothers too. The only thing on your mind is those draws. That's it. Only thing you thinking about is her behind sex. Read that again. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. The Bible says prove him first. Don't let that be built on lust. That's why the first scripture I read, you go to your leadership first. Read. And be not hasty to credit him. Uh huh. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. Guess what? Some brothers that come into IUIC, they're only here to get a woman, have sex with her, and they're out. Some sisters, the only reason they're here is to get a dumb brother to take care of her five bad ass kids and she's gone. That's why it says for some man is a friend for his own occasion. And that's the truth. That's the truth. I remember one Passover when Bishop called the single sisters on stage. It was a lot of single sisters. And guess what? The next thing he said was all the sisters on stage that have no child come off. Only a few came off. A lot of sisters are in the body, single, with children. With children. There's a lot. That's why you should counsel and go through leadership. What leadership, which brother you think will be a good husband that goes, that that obeys this truth, he has a good reputation, who do you think will be fit? You understand? But a lot of these sisters, nope. They're looking for a simple brother. A simple brother to take care of them kids. Watch. Read on. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. Come on. And will not abide in the day of thy trouble. And will not abide in the day of thy trouble. So when you're proving a spouse, guess what? This takes time. This takes time. It takes time to understand someone. It takes time to understand a sister. It takes time to understand a brother. Why? Because in the beginning, everybody want to show the the manager. Everybody want to show their good side in the beginning. Right? It's only till you move in after a certain time. Then they're going to show you the real them. But in the beginning, both parties, you want them to see the best side of you. Oh, yeah. Show me the scriptures, brother. Oh, praises. Oh, my God. Oh my God, he broke down the scriptures for me. And the brother, man, dang, this sister is respectful. This sister is so nice. Brother, she's showing you her good side. You understand? But that's natural. That's why the scripture says what? For some men, no. Yeah, yeah, that, read that again. For some men is a friend for his own occasion. He's a friend for his own occasion. And will not abide in the day of thy trouble. But guess what? As you get to know the sister, in time, there'll be little signs that will show you 
if she will abide in the day of your trouble in time, there will be little things that she will say or do that will show you if she will respect you in the day of your trouble. It's the little things. It's the little subtle details. It's the right questions. It's the statements they make. That's why the first scripture I read, like I said, was keep leadership involved. You need men around you, senior men to guide your mind. Yes, brother. Okay. So far, these are good signs. So far, hey, what I'm hearing from the senior sisters, yes, this sister's of good reputation. But when you don't counsel, you're just going to end up a sucker. That's what's going to happen. Go to 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Because what it is, what's going on? You, everybody want to get married. Who don't want to get married? Who want to stay single? Now, brother, if you that strong, brother, you could pull a Paul. Hey, all praise to the most high. All praise to the most high. You could pull a Paul. But I don't think you could pull a Paul. I really don't think you could pull a Paul. Most of us cannot pull a Paul. That, though, Paul said what? I would if you could abide as I. But every man has his own proper gift. Only special spirits could hold, withhold themselves from sex. So now, is marriage a bad thing? No. The most high made woman to serve us. He made woman to serve man. That's why this is about what? How to prove a spouse. Because we want successful marriages in IUIC. Because the media are trying to demonize us. They're trying to make it seem like, oh no, we're a hate group. We destroy families. We destroy marriages. No, we don't. We honor that. We honor that if it's done correctly. Read this. Verse John chapter 4 verse 1 Come on Beloved Believe not every spirit Don't believe everything that sister says Read But try the spirit But try her Whether they are of God You gotta try the spirit Whether they are of God Sister do you donate? No Sister do you talk to a senior sister? No Sister do you read the Bible? No There'll be little signs It's gonna be there It's gonna be there You just gotta give it time you got to give it time. Because look, even though these sisters will show you their good side, some sisters are bold. They'll tell you the truth. They will tell you the truth. Why? Because they think you a sucker. Read it again. First John 4 and 1. First John chapter 4 verse 1. Uh-huh. Beloved, believe not every spirit. So don't be that sucker, brother. This sister's so pretty. She looks so pretty. Look at her eyes. Look at her body. Look at her. This sister gorgeous. Dag. You just believe everything that sister says, brother, you getting set up for the kill. You getting set up for the kill. You being what? A simp. That's what you be. A simp. Read it again. Beloved, believe not every spirit. Right. But try the spirits. Right. Whether they are of God. So the Bible says to try these spirits. And the only way to try the spirits, you got to give it time. You got to give it time. You got to test these sisters to see if they of the most high. Go to Sirach chapter 37. No, Tobit 8 and 6. I want Tobit 8 and 6. Tobit chapter 8 verse 6. The book of Tobit chapter 8 verse 6. Yes. Thou madest Adam and gavest him Eve, his wife, for an helper and stay right of them came mankind right though See, that that's what the sisters are for they are for a helper and a stay read thou hast said it is not good that man should be alone the bible says it's not good for man to be alone come on let us make unto him an aid and what an aid a what an aid that's what you gotta prove is this sister really going to be an aid is this sister really going to be an aid? You will only know if you give it time. Read. Thou madest Adam and gavest him Eve his wife for an helper and stay. Uh -huh. Of them came mankind. Uh -huh. Thou hast said, it is not good that man should be alone. Right. Let us make unto him an aid like unto himself. Read on. And now, O Lord. I take not this, my sister, for lust. See, there it is right there. And now, O oh Lord, I take not this, my sister, for lust. When you choose a woman that you want to prove based off lust, it's not going to work. How do we know? We just read it. And now, O oh Lord, I take not this, my sister, for lust. 
you know what we're doing in IUIC? We're trying to prevent you from becoming a statistic. Because you know what the statistics say? That most black marriages end up in a divorce. And most of the time, who's the one that does it? The black woman. The black woman. The black woman. Read it again. And now, oh Lord. I take not this my sister for lust, uh-huh. but uprightly. Uh-huh. Therefore, mercifully ordain that we may become aged together. Therefore, mercifully ordain that we may become aged together. What is that showing you? You want a sister around your age. You don't want no older woman, brother. You don't want no sister where, guess what? You 25 and she's 69. She's about to die. You don't want that. You saw the you saw the scene. Uh, what's the scene? Uh, the show, the Ozarks. You saw that show, right? That's some nasty stuff going on in that show. You got the young man having sex with that rotten Edomite. Damn. That sister is damn near eighty nine, and he's what twenty two. That stuff be going on. You can look at it. It's right on Netflix. Read it again. Look at what the scriptures say. Get Tobit 8 and 7. Read that again. Tobit, Tobit. 8 and 7. Yes, sir. Come on. Tobit chapter 8 verse 7. And now, O oh Lord, I take not this my sister for lust. Because when you take a sister to prove her and it's only for lust, you don't care how old she is. She'll be 15 years older than you, 10 years older than you, 20 years older than you. You don't care. It's based on lust. You don't care. You t- Some of you brothers only taking older sisters for life insurance. That's probably why you're doing it. As soon as you get this sister, a hey, uh, let's call Geico. Hey, brother, we, we just got married. Why you want to call Geico? Hey, I got I heard this new life insurance policy that they got. I think we need to check it out. You understand? Watch. Read it again. Verse seven. And now, O oh Lord, I take not this my sister for lust, uh-huh. but uprightly. But uprightly. Therefore, mercifully ordain that we may become aged together. So you want a sister around your age. All right. You want that. Now go to Sirach 37 and verse 16. I'm just hitting key scriptures. All right. There's many scriptures that go over how to prove a spouse. I'm just showing you a few. Get Sirach 37 and verse 16. Yes, sir. Sirach 37 verse 16. Sirach chapter 37, verse 16. Uh Uh-huh. Let reason go before every enterprise. Let reason go before every enterprise. Come on. And counsel before every action. Why did I go to the scripture? Because guess what? When you're proving a spouse, you want to get to know her? Yes, of course. You're going to want to go on a date? Of course. That's why, guess what IUIC we have set up? You better have a chaperone. Why? Because if you don't have a chaperone, what's going to happen? You're going to end up at her apartment. You're going to end up at her apartment, right at that apartment, Bible under the bed, Bible under the bed. You understand? Knocking boots. But the Bible says counsel before every action, counsel before every action. Hey, where are some places where we should go where I could get a chance to get to know the sister with a, um, um, a chaperone? If you're going to go to the movies, bring a chaperone. Do not go to the movies alone. In the dark, in the back. Where would you want to go? Take her to a museum. Remember they showed that in the movie Malcolm X. They went to a museum, a public place. All right. A public place. There's many places. Shoot, you could go on Groupon. Groupon got plenty of places publicly where you could go on a date, bring a chaperone, get to know this sister. That's why it says counsel before every action. Hey, what should I do? This is how it's going so far as I'm getting to know this sister. What do you think? Hey, this is, I, I want to go here now. All right. Um, we have events at the school. We got date night. We got game night. We got movie night. We have all kind of events at the school where you can go to that event and the sister there too. See, we got these things set up so you don't got to take her somewhere privately and spread open her legs. See, you're thinking nasty. That's what's going on. Yeah, girl, take that thing, girl. Yeah, yeah, move that thing, girl. Yeah, yeah. No, brother. No, no, no. That's why scriptures say counsel before every action. Now, go to Ecclesiastes 9 and 9. Ecclesiastes 9 and 9. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 9, 
verse 9. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest. The Bible says live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest. So here at IUIC, we don't destroy marriages. We build them. Read. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of thy life of thy vanity. Right. Now, why did I go here? Because you got to ask yourself, this sister who I'm talking to, is she really going to bring joy to my life? Because guess what? There are a lot of black women that will not give you joy. There are a lot of Latino women that will not give you joy. And guess what? It's most of them. That's right. See, you just got offended. Now you already turned off the video. I don't care. We're giving you what the Bible says. But most of them will not give you joy. It's hard to find that right one. That's why you got to go through the scriptures. Let the scriptures determine for you and counsel with leadership. Because most black women are not going to give you joy. Why? Because most black women, you know what their brain is? American television. That's their thinking. That's their thinking. You got to be patient enough to find the right one that's going to say, I'm going to honor that man. I'm going to honor that man. Read on. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of thy life of thy vanity. Come on. Which he have given thee under the sun. Come on. All the days of thy vanity. For that is thy portion in this life. Go to Sirach 726. Last scripture. Sirach 726. This is what you want right here. 726. Um, and I mentioned that scene of Malcolm X. Uh, I mentioned one scene of Malcolm X with the uh, museum. But there's another scene of Malcolm X where... Remember the scene of Malcolm X where when he was getting to know Betty Shabazz, he was speaking to Elijah Muhammad. And remember, Elijah Muhammad was letting him know he was advising him on what he should do. All right. Don't don't forget that scene. The scene was letting you know Malcolm X honored his elders enough to what? Let them know how things were going between him and her. And was she the right fit for him? That's just an example that they showed in the movie. That's what we have here at IUIC. We have leadership for you to speak to senior men, to have them help guide your decisions. Read this, Sirach 726. Sirach chapter 7, verse 26. Has thou a wife after thy mind? Mm -hmm. Forsake her not. The Bible says, has thou a wife after thy mind? When you're talking to the sister, ask yourself, do you think she's really going to go after your mind? That's what you got to ask. That's what you got to ask. Because in marriage, there's going to be trouble. There's going to be trouble. But there's going to be plenty of times where they do not want to go after your mind. Where they want to have their own mind. Their independent thinking mind. And you got to put them right back in check with this Bible. But you got to ask yourself, as you get to know this sister and you about to make that decision. Does this sister show me signs that she will follow me? That she wants to have my mind? Because your mind got to be the mind of the Bible, right? So you say, look, I'm following these scriptures. I'm not going nowhere. So the sister you talking to, are you sure she wants your mind? Because that's what you want. All right. Read it again. Has thou a wife after uh -huh. thy mind? Do you have a wife after thy mind? Guess what? In marriage, she's not supposed to have her own mind. Right. Yes, black woman, don't get upset. I don't care. You got your lick stuck up. Right. You upset. We don't give a damn. Remember that song back in the day? If you don't give a damn, we don't. I'm not going to say that on the video. I'm not going to say that. But you know what song I'm talking about. The point is, the scripture says, has thou a wife after thy mind? Right? So the wife is supposed to have the mind of her husband because she was made for him. So you about to make this decision on choosing a spouse. Take your time, brother. And pray on it, fast on it, and consult with leadership because that's what you want. You want a woman that is, guess what? Regardless of the trials y'all go through, regardless of the tribulation, she's going to want to maintain your mind because you're following this Bible. All right. So with that, brothers and sisters, that's 15 minutes with the captains. We're going to end it there. We say shalom. <laughs> We used to scream black power. 
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.